trucking. I'm about to surgically remove the panties so that I can George Clooney up inside your operating room. I'm trying to. So it's been almost three years. I don't even know how long it's been. It's been a very long time since I last made a tech video on the channel. And let me tell you, it's been a long journey. There's a lot of things that happened to my tech. There's a lot of things that happened to my living situation. And we have a lot of stuff to go over. But today we're gonna be upgrading my one and only PC. I only have one computer. And you guys should remember it, if you guys have been watching a while, that is my dual Xeons. So I had X5690s I upgraded to. I called it Project Reprisal uh, back in the day. So I've had that PC actually like three years. I've edited on it, I've gamed on it for a long time and it's time to upgrade. So we'll go over a little bit of what I've upgraded to and if it works, we'll go through the build today. So I do have a lot of stuff on the floor. I got a lot of noises in the background, but I don't have time to restart this process of making this video. So I have a list I'm gonna go over with you guys. I have parts I'm gonna be changing out and I'll give you a parts list and the stuff that I have. So basically here I've got my drive list. I gotta make sure I order these in the BIOS so that when we boot up our PC, if it does work, that I can have this all the same as my old PC. Uh, first off, I didn't put this in order. I just listed notes. And we're gonna take out the PSU out of my old rig and we are going to put it in the new case. Well, not in the new case, we're just gonna plug it up, test it, see if we get a post. Um, but after that, we're gonna try and take these fans out from our old PC, uh, clean them a little bit, not super crazy, just a little air, maybe a little alcohol, and then uh, install them into this PC. This is the Lee and Lee PC 011. Um, this is actually uh, like $160 case. Did my research, really liked it. Um, and I'm going to be upgrading to dual Xeon E5 2697V2s. Yes, so that's a, a, a SSIV board and it doesn't fit in there, but I've made it fit. So we're also going to be using two uh, EVGA uh, CLCs 120. I got those $44.99 each. So we're going to be sticking those on there after we see if this works. And um, essentially here, I'll go over this with you guys really quickly. I actually drilled and slotted my own screw holes for this on the case. Um, when I lined this in here, I actually only had three screws that fit. So I'll go over those with you guys really quick. You go do an SSIB board. Uh, I had that screw right there, that one hit. Um, that one right over here hit. And I had one in this corner. I think it was uh, like right here, it hit. And I had to drill my own here, here, and somewhere up in here. So that's enough for the board to stay on there and I'm not going to have these on there so it's going to be nice and light. So I think that should be enough. It's like what I did with this PC. So uh, I think that should be good on that end. If you guys don't know what this is and you haven't seen the original video on it, it's not a very good video, but um, currently it's got 96 gigs of RAM, uh, ECC DDR3. Uh, it's got two X5690s, a 1070, uh, five hard drives, and um, 1200 watt power supply and I have Elgato in there as well. So we're just going to be, you know, cleaning this up, moving over to this and checking out the performance. I've taken glimpses at the performance upgrade and it is almost like having four X5690s. The same power draw on uh, the newer Sandy Bridge architecture. So I'll get the new uh, AVX2 instructions and a little bit of an upgrade. So that's why we're handling this business today. So I might as well just get started. So I finally got the PSU out of there. Um, it's a big boy. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to, still to disassemble. Um, I'm just gonna give this a quick hit on the air um, and I'm throwing it in. Uh, we're just gonna, not even gonna throw it in yet actually, we're just gonna hook it up, uh, see if it powers on. I'll put some RAM in there um, and then we'll get to disassembling my other PC. Everything's plugged up. Uh, let's hit the power button and see if we get something. Oh, I gotta switch it on, dummy. Where is the switch? Oh, there it is. Oh. Well, PSU's on. Got some motherboard lights. Motherboard. There we go. We got a postage. It's a postage. 
So I'm gonna let it initialize, um, and then I'll get back to you guys in just a second. Okay, so now we got the thing to post. So now I'm gonna head into just cleaning stuff up. We're gonna pull everything from this PC over here and put it into here since we got the post. Excellent. I'm just gonna take fans first. We're gonna do a little cleaning. I've already cleaned the PSU out with a little air. There's not really much you need to do with that. You can't really take it apart and clean it anyway. So we're just gonna get cable management down, fans down, and we're just gonna get this looking bang. So so we got our big ass PSU in here already, no issues, and they can all route through here. So the main issue now I see is I don't know if that cable bar that fits SSDs will be able to fit there. In case I did actually buy this uh, StarTech SATA uh, like 4X adapter just in case. I also got some cable ties. Um, but so far, this is looking really good. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do next is, since I don't have cable sleeves, which is fine, um, maybe I, in the future I might get some craft paint and paint them black. Um, you know, maybe you guys wanna see that. Uh, let me know. So the fans are all installed. We got these three in there just like that. Um, it's looking pretty good. I mean, I think now I'm gonna flip this around and I'm gonna get started on doing the CPU coolers. But that's what it looks like from the front so far. So I'm gonna do the coolers next. I'm gonna change my angle Alright, so I've got an issue right now with the AIOs. Um, basically, I have a clearance issue. That's just, it's that simple. So let's go look at it right now. If you look in here, we have the cooler attached. I want to have them sitting like this, so EVGA is sitting like that. But my first RAM slot is uh, in the way. So if I have RAM in there, this fan won't fit. So luckily, when I did quit everything, I did save three vans. Save this really cool, low-profile Sith fan. It's only a three pin. So, I don't know about that. We'll try that, I guess. And then I have this uh, fractal fan. I don't know if it's any thinner. Probably not. 
No, it's not. It's about the same. So, basically, um, what I was thinking about doing was I was going to put the radiator on this side, but the fan here, so they'd be like this. But I forgot that the PC-011 has that bar right here that closes the case, so I can't do that. So, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to probably try the Sith fan, but that's not going to cure my issue on this side because I have my power cables. And I want them routed up through this way. I don't want them routed through this side. It's just going to look bad. I want them coming through this way. So, shit, I don't know. Uh, let's get into uh, trying to figure this out, I guess. Basically, let me, let me uh, give you the rundown on what I decided to do here. Um, so I unplugged all my power cables for now. And um, I took my first RAM slot out. And I uh, just mounted this up here for now. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix this and uh, put my cables back in. I was gonna see how it fits here, if I could fit the second one. But what I was thinking was um, when I put the radiator down here, um, it was just short of uh, making it. So what I think I'm gonna do is since I don't have a GPU like right here yet, I might be able to get away with putting this one upside down, down here. So put that radiator upside down here. So I'm gonna put my GPU in and then see how it goes with the second uh, CPU. Unit, bounty hunter killers on the moon when I play pool with the earth. Radioactive gun rays smack you with a comet so far. You see the sun age, you wanna be villain. Fake killers, no feelings, Star Trek dealers. There's water on Mars, we spilling the rap Mandalorian. Ruling the planet Scorpion. Time to say the planet, my nigga, they just want me in. Yeah, motherfucker. Okay, um, it's been three hours and I've decided on what I'm gonna do. So we've got this mounted up here, first CPU, and we've got just an exhaust fan. I saw the fractal, some random fractal four pin fan, just to even out the air pressure. Since I'm gonna have three intakes, you wanna have even pressure, so I added that fan in. Gonna run it off the CPU, so it'll be, you know, PWM. Also gonna install my second AIO. Um, I'm gonna install it down here. So I'm gonna install it upside down, pump upside down, routing down here, temporarily. I'm only going to install it like that for a while until I do some research and see if I can find some low profile PWM fans, four pins. Um, that way I can put my RAM up here and then I can put both of them up here. That, that'll be definitely a separate video at this point uh, since I'm three hours into this and I need to get this done because I've got a lot of stuff i got to do other than build a computer. I'm a beam, lightning, the mic steam. Uh, pressure bust pipes, you niggas just like memes. Yo, my uncle's a pipe dream, and I don't know how to explain what that means. Wish I had enough to wipe clean, but living in the dirt, this is what life brings. I'm leaning on my earth, she my air like beam. He drag his feet on the turf, the crowd screams. I'm on the cloud, no perk, making mics clean. Fuck with me like right wings. Right. Cheers to you bitch niggas trying to size green. Uh -huh. You get jacked at the bottom of the beam. Of the beam. We made crack, had the jaw spin and steam. steam. Without a heart until it's hard for the- Okay, so after busting my ass for probably two, three hours, I've got it. Um, I changed the uh, AIO to another place. Check this out. So what I did was I actually moved it back to the top I found a fractal fan. Uh, it's like rubber, and it just barely clears the PSU cables. Let me show you. It's both up there now. It just barely. I mean, it is. It spins free. It doesn't get any closer than that. I've got my uh, SSD and my other hard drive mounted down here. And I'm just gonna brush up cable management in the front and the back, and then I'm done so. Been silly bowl saying to me, even if you cook the harder way, you made it to the stove. I've been ten toes, slim bend flows like birth control. Hey, I've been unemployed, but it's working though. 
My gang gang star, take it personal Knowing, hey, I am the answer, check the vertical Misery, break your ankles, get a pedestal Then you'll be on my level, check the decibels Loud records, medical, Wi-Fi, iCloud, edibles Machine guns, Kelly, I am Reggie Miller, no filler, Nick Killer In the garden, beer gang, James Harden All these babies in the game, look who's talking Booger foot, sugar in the stockings. Christmas came early, broke, gift wrap, hurry ho. That mayor berry mo, beat your feet, run Joe. So you can get it while it lasts. How can I be righteous with this blood upon my hands? I just wanna whammy, tell them niggas kiss my ass. Listen, man, vision and lack thereof can probably send a man. Straight to hell's kitchen in a prison van. Gasoline draws on with the can. Match.com, crush long arm, open hand closed. Got my soul in a cycle. This is spin class. Drier land, don't drown on a river. How high demand, low key for the low low. low I demand low. respect, head high, kill him with the no no. Uh, living reckless, but get buried like a dignity. After all those hours, here we go. Sometime today. So I thank you for making me feel alive, feel alive Need you to rescue me from myself, I'm not doing this for my health I've been putting myself through hell, I need some help and knowing to tell I'm my own worst enemy, so good luck trying to shoot me down Already went and lost myself, so please don't go and lose me now I'm at war with my own mind, I've been ignoring the road signs I've been talking to my damn self, like there's no one on that line Scars are not visible, thought I was invincible Stuck in my mind to myself, I'm a criminal, I'm alive and not living, no Rest I don't know who I would be if it wasn't for you and me So I thank you for making me feel alive Feel alive. I don't know who I would be if it wasn't for you and me. So I thank you for making me feel alive. Feel alive. I've been battling with myself, and every day is a war. I don't even really know what I want, but I know I want more. Stop letting people walk on me, had to get up off of that floor. You're the little voice in my head when I'm too confused and unsure. When the road gets dark. And I cannot see, just be my light Come and walk with me Through every struggle you are by my side Found someone that's down to ride You're the one truth in my life In a world that's full of lies I don't know who I would be If it wasn't for you and me So I thank you for making me Feel alive, feel alive I don't know who I would be If it wasn't for you and me so I thank you for making me feel alive, feel alive So the performance in gaming wasn't as great as I would have thought. There's still a ton of things I can do in the BIOS and tweaks I can do to take care of some of the performance issues I was having. But in Vegas, After Effects, the editing time is just unimaginably faster. It's sometimes two, three times faster. Um, I'm noticing now since I have SATA 3, everything is faster. There's just so many different aspects of this build that have made my system better a couple little other details about the build the ram was at 1866 megahertz and the gpu was undervolted 
a 75% power limit with a 60 megahertz overclock on the core and a 450 megahertz overclock on the RAM. So it was a little undervolted. Um, I'm sure if I push the power limit up, the FPS would have rose as well. Especially coming back into PC building and tech again is excellent. It's refreshing. It's what I've been missing for a long time. And um, I got really emotional editing this because it's old school. It's vintage. It's what this place used to be. You know, making stuff work, drilling the holes in the case. It's something only crazy like I would do. And that's what has been missing in my life. And now that we're back on that level, I just, I feel so great. Essentially, I, uh, I got forcefully kicked out of my house due to a personal event um, where we had been renting the house for a long time and we've rented it for about 10 years. The uh, lease ran out and they wanted to sell the house and I had nowhere to go. So I sold almost all my stuff and started completely from scratch. And um, now that I got the stimulus check, I had a little extra money laying around and I wanted to upgrade my stuff. And I'm very glad I did because this has brought back something um, that I've been missing for a long time. And I don't know what it exactly it is, but uh, just making the stuff, uh, even if it's not great quality right now, it will get better. It's just something I've been missing in my life for a while. And I'm really excited I can bring it back. I have a couple videos right now that are hitting almost 50,000 views. I've gained almost 1,500 subs since I've been gone. Tons of comments, tons of feedback. Some of my videos, I mean, 5, 10, 15 of them have over 20, 30, 40,000 views right now. It's just ridiculous. So, uh, obviously, there have been people coming in and out that have seen my stuff and asked where I've been. Um, but we are back here. I'm active on social media. I'm reading this stuff again. So if you have some ideas, let me know. I have some in the works I want to get on and get videoed up. But essentially, we are we are back. You know, it's it's here. You know, this is old school shit. We are here. We're back. So now that that's all wrapped up and everything's been settled, uh, leave a like and leave a subscription and hit that bell so you know exactly when I'm making new stuff again because I'm here to stay. I'm not going anywhere. So let me know on my social medias what you're thinking and I'll catch you all in the next video, dude. Stop letting people walk on me, had to get up off of that floor. You're the little voice in my head when I'm too confused and unsure. When the road gets dark and I cannot see, just be my light. Come and walk with me.